Okay, this last mod's a little trickier, and we're moving one resistor and adding another. And when I did the mod, I actually put two resistors in series. So I'll go over where they're moved from and added to. Originally, right on this tube, this pin here in this yellow, under this yellow wire, you'll see a piece of wire going across two pins on this tube. And on this end, there's a one mega ohm resistor that goes from this pin to the pin that this coupling cap connects to. And we're going to move that resistor and attach it from this pin that this coupling get, cap goes to, which is the grid of the upper section of the tube. And we're going to connect it to ground. Basically putting this resistor in parallel with this coupling cap. And uh, this is a replacement coupling cap that I put in the amp too. But anyway, um, the final thing is, and here I use two 1 meg resistors in series because this is what I had. Um, you could buy a 2 meg resistor and do it with uh, a little piece of wire too. But you want to run from this pin or this terminal right here on the capacitor, which is above the plate resistor for that tube, which is right here. So we're going from this pin right here, like the B plus comes here, it goes through this dropping resistor, and on this side of this cap, you want to run a wire or resistors from here to this pin where this coupling cap connects. So then you have two megs of resistance going from the power to the grid, and then you have a one meg from the grid to the ground, and this sets up a voltage divider to set the bias on the grid of the upper section to a fixed value instead of floating with the signal. And by doing this, it makes the upper section work less and makes the bottom section work harder, which evens out the sine wave and help improves the distortion from this amp, especially with the volume turned up. But you could see the distortion even at lower volume levels with an uneven sine wave. When you look at the output, it was fatter on the bottom and thinner on the top. And after doing this mod, it made it very even. The floating bias that this used, or the grid bias, the grid leak bias that this amp was set up at, is something they do on guitar amplifiers where you want distortion, but it's not something you want in a hi-fi amp.